Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VTN price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VTN chart which has managed to break above a high that we made at around the 0.02182 dollar mark. We have also managed to break above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart and before I get into that part of the technical analysis give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the one hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening and also give you the short term scenarios be that I'm expecting to play out here on the VeChain chart and you can see that VeChain after making our low at around the 0.015 dollar mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the ADO12 structures and by first giving you a measure from this lower low that we made down here at around the 0.015 dollar mark to the high that we have right here you can see that VeChain is up by 54.5 49% which is a very nice bounce to the upside and getting into the details of the formation of these move to the upside you can see that we have been obeying the ADO12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure in blue having the wave 5 completing the formation of that first wave to the upside and after seeing the formation of that first wave we saw corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 before we saw a wave 3 a wave 4 and then continued pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 making a peak at around the 0.02182 dollar mark and after seeing that 5 wave structure to the upside we can now term that whole 5 wave structure to the upside as a larger ADO wave count 1 to the upside which I have drawn out here on the charts using this ADO structure right here in yellow having that as the first wave and after seeing the formation of a first wave whatever we expect next is a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of a second wave and here on the charts we are seeing that a uh, corrective structure in the formation of that wave too and using the Fibonacci I had sketched out a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that wave too by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one and that gave me a minimum retracement area between the FIB level 0.382 and the FIB level 0.618 and that is the minimum that I expected that second wave to the lower side to do but you can see here on the charts we didn't quite fully maximize our target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 and we retraced almost to the FIB level 0.382 before we saw a reaction of the FIB level 0.382 and started this bounce to the upside in what I'm terming as a higher ADO wave count 3 and by first sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 which I believe is what is playing out by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0.03016 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do and because a wave 3 to the upside is also an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within that wave 3 so in the formation of that wave 3 I'm expecting to see a, a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of that wave 3 and to also give you a confirmation that we, we are back in the formation of that wave 3 I expected that VeChain should manage to break above the wave 1 high to give us a confirmation that we are back in the formation of that wave 3 and we can expect higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 and we managed to break above the wave 1 high at around the 0.02182 dollar mark and as long as we are holding above the wave 1 high then there are chances of continuing to unlock even higher prices to fully maximize our target area and in that move to the upside given that we have the support of the 20 day MA the next target area that I'm watching keenly is at around the 0.02436 dollar mark which is right here in this blue line that I have here on the charts which is a key area of resistance so in case VeChain continues to push even higher continue showing a lot of strength to continue pushing higher I'll be watching the key area of resistance at around the 0.02436 dollar mark and once we get to that key area of resistance there are two things that can happen we can either manage to break above it and once that happens I'll be expecting to see a retest and once the retest is in then we can continue pushing even higher to fully maximize our wave 3 and in case we see a rejection at that key area of resistance then we can expect a bit of a pullback maybe find the support of the 20 day MA before we see another recovery to the upside 
continue pushing higher and manage to break above it, see a retest and fully maximize our target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. And also taking a look at the indicators before I give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out. Here on the RSI, we are trading at around the 67 mark, meaning we have a bit of room for us to support any movements to the upper side before we get into the overbought region. Also taking a look at the MACD, on the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross and that means higher prices are still coming our way and we need to be patient and see how that plays out and also continue watching those target areas here on the one hour chart and jumping to the daily chart to give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out. Here on the daily chart, you can see that I have this ADO to structure in red and you can see that VeChain from these low prices that we had been trading within, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside, making it to an all-time high at around the $0.28 mark in what I'm terming as a higher ADO to count one to the upside. And after seeing the all-time high, we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure, which took us back to around the $0.015 mark in what I'm terming as a higher ADO to count two. And after seeing the law for a second wave, whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher ADU to have count 3 where I have sketched out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0 0.46 to $77 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting VeChain to do on the long term scenarios. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated.